Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. My name is Smojo, and I hope that you enjoy. If you are new here, hit that sub button. We are doing a giveaway at 500 subscribers. So, yeah, let's do it. Let's get it. And, uh, yeah, let's get into the video. So as you guys know, my previous video that I made about the Primaval, pronounced that wrong, but the Primaval, the Prime, the, the, the gear with bones that looks like a dragon, apparently that gear is actually very, 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 very good. I would like to shout out Old Snap. He's another Wizard 101 content creator on YouTube. His link will be down in the description because he made his video. It inspired me to make this video. So make sure you guys check out his video, check out his channel, leave a sub and everything. After I made that video about the Prime Primival gear, I got so much backlash for it. Mainly because I said bad things about the gear and the gear wasn't bad i basically said that this gear sucks why well, did i didn't say it sucked I, I just said that the stats were all that and i don't see other people using the gear which i was a hundred percent wrong apparently with this gear you're able to have 182 percent damage with a hundred percent crit which is top notch stats i don't even know if that's even possible right now it probably is but you know i don't know everything about wiz but you know but yeah so it's it's some pretty pretty good gear for the stats pretty good gear and on top of that which this video is going to be about and on top of that you can have a hundred percent immunity across every single school with this gear specifically because of the set bonus that it gives so as of right now the the all-around jade gear for everybody nothing but universal resistance would be the jade hat the jade roll both of those combined it gives you 45 percent universal resistance and then we got the rockstar kiss with the 18 percent resistance we got the heart still anthem for five percent universal resistance we got the old Orlov's Ice Sheet Charm for 6% Universal Resistance. We got the Elsa's Chill Band for 3% Universal Resistance. And then, yeah, yeah, that's 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 pretty much it. But if we combine all of those, that's 100% all around only Universal Resistance. We're only going to be focused on Universal Resistance. So those are the best gear in the game right now without, without us mentioning the wand, the pet, or the mount for universal resistance this is where that new pack comes in with the new gear if you guys don't know the set bonus the three gear set bonus gives you universal resistance which is is pretty pretty awesome and we're gonna we're gonna be utilizing that to get 104 through 107 universal resistance for every single school depending on the school you are will depend on the gear that you want to get for this set and depending on the school you are will depend on the amount of resistance that you also get for example the gear for fire balance and dev if you use it you are able to get 104 universal resistance but for storm life is 105 myth is 106 and ice is 107 so that's why i say it it, it matters on what school you are will depend on how much resistance you overall have but overall everybody's getting 100 percent universal resistance like everybody's immune to everything and those three items that we left out the pet the wand and the mount we're going to combine all of those to get that three set bonus to get that, that 104 or 107 universal resistance on your pet you want to go for the universal 21 percent universal resistance all around over the board for the wand you want to get the fossils hunter skulls uh crusher and for the mount we're looking at the fossil hunter mount and for the pet it's the fossil hunter pet fossil hunter fossil hunter you, you get what i'm saying you get what i'm saying so yeah with those three three items from the pack along with the best universal resistance gear in the game you will be immune no matter what school you are now i do say that you can play around with this instead of having a 21 percent universal all around pet you can maybe turn that pet into a ward pet and have the 15% universal resistance and then have four 15% wards on top of that. Or maybe you could just have the 10% universal resistance and then have five wards on top of that. Or you can switch out the ring for the sixth class since then instead of having 170% universal resistance, you'll have like 110 or like you know whatever number that's going to be because i don't feel like doing math right now but yeah overall i hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching leave a like comment subscription make sure you check out that guy old snap and uh yeah have a great day